Welcome back again to another video. This time the question is, why is my iPhone storage full if I have iCloud? Well, a few things to clarify. Now, you might have iCloud as everyone has, but iCloud without the payment, without the subscription is only five gigabytes. And if that is not enough for your files, then more stuff cannot be uploaded to the cloud and it therefore has to stay local on your device, taking up a lot of storage. So in case you might have iCloud, but you have, or you need more storage, you probably need to upgrade by paying a monthly fee, which is doesn't have to be too much, but you can go for a different plan with 50, 200, or even two terabytes, right? So it's like, there are some options, but just make sure you have enough storage on iCloud because if you don't, then you just cannot upload or sync any more files in here. Okay, so in case you make sure that you do have that, then you need to set up and make sure that the settings are properly just configured, right? So for example, even if you have enough storage in your iCloud, you need to make sure that sync the photos is enabled. That means that all of your local photos from the device are going to be automatically uploaded to the cloud, to iCloud, and then deleted from the phone, which is going to free up your actual iPhone storage. And in a lot of cases, if you check it out in here, most people have photos taking up the majority of space. So make sure you have it set up properly so the photos can be uploaded and therefore deleted from your local storage. But you should also pay attention to the fact that iCloud primarily serves as a backup or a synchronizing synchronization tool and it's not going to be a full substitution for your local storage and local storage is still going to be something that needs to be managed so either photos or other apps i mean if you have a ton of different apps on a small capacity iphone there is nothing that icloud can do about it because it's a file which has to be installed on your phone like an app cannot be installed on an iCloud or something it has to be stored locally so that's something that you need to pay attention to of course in the iPhone storage you can see the breakdown and where each apps are so in case you don't need some of the apps you can delete or offload them and it's going to be as simple as that right so that's it. I hope you like this video. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe below and I will see you later on in the future.